All right, so I figured that I would finally put these uh, the myth to rest that air mode and uh, idle up will give different results. Um, I say it's a myth because I'm convinced already that it's going to be the same because technically it's supposed to be. Uh, but I've never actually tried back to back. So I got my good old Apex here. Uh, I'm going to start one flight with idle up as I usually fly. Uh, and then I'll do a second flight where I'll switch over and I'll keep the settings the same so that I have the exact same idle between the two. Um, we'll go through the GUI setup together at that point. Uh, and we'll see what the result is. Alright, so here we go with flight one. This one is with idle up. One thing that people do say is different is when you're going to touch something and hit uh, the surface or like perching or whatever. Uh, so I guess I'll do a little bit of skipping. Try that out. If I can touch the ground. I guess I'll try some attitude hold. Alright, I'll try landing with the throttle on. Let's see if that fits. Alright. Battery isn't done, but don't have all day, right? <laughs> so we'll switch over to regular and see what's what. All right, so let's get plugged in. Telemetry recovered. Let's connect. So what you'll see here right now, I've got my idle up uh, set up. So I've got min throttle at 1050. Min command is at 10.55, and if we're going to data output here, and I'll switch my idle up on, you'll see in the top left here, I'm sending 10.57. That's, so that's basically my, my idle speed uh, is 10.57. So what we're going to do now is, uh, and also what you'll notice is if I just go and play with my throttle like this, uh, doesn't send any throttle signal at all as long as my idle up is not uh, active at which point it sends automatically 1057 so let's go into config let's change this to uh, 1057 because that's where I want my min throttle to be so that it's exactly the same and here we're going to set 1000 for the min command so that the PID loop is active all the time 
meaning air mode is on all the time. Save. And see now if we go into data output on my transmitter, I'll just switch to the other model here. So now what you'll see is if I throttle, I'm actually sending 1000 to 2000. Uh, and if I'm at 1000, that means the idle speed of the motors will be at 1057, which you'll see in the motor outputs on the screen. Once I go on, it'll you know vary between 1057 and 1058. Uh, once I'm armed, then I don't need my idle up switch anymore. Okay, so let's do this. I'm actually anxious to see if there's much of a difference. A little bit of wind picked up since not much. All right. Just looking right down. Okay. So here it goes. Flight, no idle up. Right away, I actually feel a difference at the bottom of my throttle. It's strange. I feel like there's a little bit of a null spot at the bottom of my throttle. It's really weird. So, in terms of the attitude, though, it's definitely the same. In terms of air feel, I'm not seeing much of a difference. Except that at the bottom, I feel like there's a little bit of a null. For some reason, like there's like a, a spot that feels a little different at the top, like complete, like let's say the bottom 5% of my throttle stick. So I'll do the same as before. Let's land a few times without disarming. See, normally it doesn't do that, not that much. No, same thing. Alright, so... Um, trying to figure out why that spot at the bottom would be there. Uh, but if anything... Like, I'd definitely get used to it, that's for sure. Um, I mean, I didn't really feel like it made a difference on the flying, it's just when I took off, I could definitely tell that there was like a, some play at the bottom or something. Otherwise, as I've always said, for the rest of it, it's exactly the same. I mean, there's no difference when you're touching objects or bouncing off the ground or in the air once you're off throttle. Uh, the only way I can see someone feeling a difference uh, would basically be because they didn't set their idle up to the exact same that they had their air mode set to. So in my case I had both sending exactly 1057, so I had exactly the same idle speed at zero throttle. So after flying for the first time without idle up, um, and noticing that kind of null spot at the bottom of the throttle range, I had to go and check out to see what exactly was going on, and I had a bit of a theory. Um, so basically, Right now, as you can see here, my quad is set up as uh, I normally would for idle up. Uh, so my min throttles at 1050. So the minimum that's the minimum speed that my motors will be spinning at. 
uh, and the min command is at 1055. Uh, so as soon as I send a value greater than 1055, uh, the PID loop becomes active. And I go over to data output here. So when I arm the quad, as you can see here in the motors, they're all receiving 1050, that min throttle that we set. And once I activate idle up, now you can see I've got 1057 as a received single, and the minimum for the PID loop was 1055, so we're good there. And in my motors, they're all hovering around 1057. Um, so let's go back over here. Let's switch this min throttle to 1057 and the min command to 1000. Basically, uh, this will activate the PID loop at all times, 100% of the time. Save that. So now when I throttle up, I'm going from 1000 to 2000 instead of 1057 to 2000. And when I arm, as expected, we're getting around 1057 uh, around those values outputs to the motors. So now what I want you to do is just keep your eye on the motor outputs here. I'm going to throttle up nice and slow. So now I'm at 1020, 1030, 1040, and those motor singles haven't moved. They're still all at around 1057. Keep going, 1052, still nothing. So now I'm just over 5% throttle. Um, and the motors haven't been asked to change anything yet. And once I get over, now we can see that the motor signals go back up. So basically that whole zone at the bottom bet between, let's say your min throttle is set to 1060. So anything between 1000 and 1060, which is 6% of your throttle travel um, becomes useless. Uh, so essentially my conclusion uh, is that um, you're, when you're not using idle up, you're actually losing throttle resolution because you've got that bottom portion of your throttle range that becomes, uh, that becomes basically nulled. Uh, because it's under the minimum throttle value, but that single is still taken into account. Um, and so, you know, um, my first thought was, okay, cool. So let's just, you know, set the offset for the uh, the, the bottom endpoint of the throttle uh, to, you know, the same value as the min throttle that's set, let's say 1060. Uh, but that won't work because when you go to ARM, you'll be sending 1060 and it won't let you arm because your throttle won't be at zero at that point. So then the only solution to get around that is uh, to set that higher idle speed on the switch and we've come full circle. So basically idle up is setting your idle speed, your minimum throttle uh, on a switch to offset that bottom end of your throttle input. So, I mean, you know, make of this information what you will, but to be completely honest, I was really surprised. Uh, I did not expect uh, to find a difference at all. And the difference that I did find is not what people tend uh, to claim is, you know, an advantage with idle up. But there definitely is a difference in it, maybe only be, you know, five, six percent. Um, but I noticed it right away. Uh, I, I felt it as soon as I started to throttle up. I could get used to it, evidently, but I mean, f right now it's enough to convince me that I'm not going to go and switch all my quads over to just, you know, the regular air mode setup, uh, just because, well, why would I want to lose that, that range of uh, throttle resolution? So yeah, big surprise. If you guys have any questions or comments you want to make, just leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to get everything nice and sorted out. And well, otherwise, happy flying.